Welcome back everyone. My name is Avin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about smart contracts. Now if you remember in the last video we have talked about Ethereum. So in Ethereum it's a blockchain basically where you can write codes. You can write programming codes. Now if that programming code represents any type of contract, we will call them as smart contracts. Okay, I know it's confusing, right? So just to keep it simple, let's take an example. Now if you talk about a lot of online websites, especially e-commerce websites, so most of the website we don't trust, right? Example, if I want to buy something online, I have some specific website in my mind, example in India, Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal are quite famous, but I don't even try other websites. Example, let's say uh, there's a website named as abc.com where you can buy stuff online. Maybe I will not buy from them. For one reason, I don't trust them. Second reason, maybe it's not secure. Uh, so how do you build that trust and how do you make it secure? So when you say I don't trust them, what's wrong with them? So let's say if I order something on abc.com as a prepaid order where I'm paying the amount before getting the product. So what if the product is not delivered? So there's a trust issue from my side. But what if abc.com is a trusted company, but not the delivery service? So let's say XYZ is responsible to take that product from ABC and deliver it to me. What if they are doing some fraud? And so ABC will also pay them, right? So when I pay, let's say $100 for a product, out of which maybe there will be some commission, which these people will be getting, right? The delivery company. So there's a trust issue between three different parties, right? From my side to ABC, from ABC to XYZ, Okay, expect that you should trust me, right? Because I belong here. So to solve that problem, we can use smart contracts here. So what if the entire payment system will be automated? Example, I will buy something from abc.com, which will be prepaid, but then ABC will not receive that money. They will receive the money only when I receive the product. So it is that, it's something like if then, right? So in programming, we do that. So if you can implement that programming in that system, in that supply chain management, uh, that is smart contracts. So I am paying, but then it is not received by ABC. It will be received only when I get the product. XYZ will receive the commission from ABC only when they deliver the product, right? So that's the smart contracts. In fact, we can use this not just for supply chain management, but also for, uh, let's say if you buy a car, we have a lot of middle person, right? Uh, so we have a dealer, we have a finance company in between who will give you EMI options. So we can automate those stuff as well. There are a lot of legal stuff going on. So smart contracts is efficient when it comes to all this process, making it fast. So there are certain benefits of this. It is fast, it is secure because we're using blockchain here and it builds trust, which is very important. So not just Amazon Flipkart, but all these companies, all these e-commerce company, if they can implement smart contracts, people will trust them, right? Because trust is the issue here. So that's the smart contracts in simple terms. Smart contracts are line of codes which you run on ethereum network but basically they are built for contracts so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos